Hi, welcome to Linu Economics Net YouTube channel. My name is Linu Alex, Economics Teacher. Today's topic is Factors of Production. Here we discuss different types of factors of production and its a reverse. We can see different types of goods and services around us. For example, in our house we can see televisions, fridge, tables, chairs. Let's take one example. Here is a wooden table. How is this wooden table made? We know that this wooden table is made up of wood. How can we get wood? Of course, it is from trees. Yeah, the wood is a raw material to produce wooden table. Then, how this wood changed to a wooden table? The labors are needed to produce this wooden table. Moreover, the machineries are needed. So here, to produce the wooden table, we use wood, labors, machineries, etc. Anything that helps to produce goods and services, we can call factors of production. They are the resources or they are the inputs to produce goods and services. In economics, Factors of production refers to the resources that we are using to produce goods and services. Another name of factors of production are economic resources. There are four types of factors of production. Number one, land. Second one, labor. Third one, capital. Fourth one, enterprise. Let's discuss one by one. The number one, land. When we hear the word land, what is coming in our mind? The common meaning come to our mind may be the part of the earth surface that is not covered by water or a state or a country. But in economics, the word land has a wider meaning. That means any natural resources that is used to produce goods and services is called land. It is the gift of nature. So, all the natural resources together called land. Some typical examples of land are ocean, river, forest, coal, etc. In our example, wooden table, tree or wood is the land because tree is a natural resource. The reward or factor income of land is rent. Now we can check some examples for land or natural resources in different economy. In China, 90% of resources are coal and rare earth metals. However, timber is another major natural resource of China. Next one, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has 20% of the world's oil reserves and they are second in the world. Third one, Canada. Canada is the leading supplier of natural gas and phosphate and is the third largest exporter of timber. Next one, India. The India's coal reserves are fourth largest in the world. Another country, Brazil. Brazil has the largest gold and uranium deposits in the world. Different countries have different types and different quantities of natural resources to produce goods and services. The next one, labor. I think the second factor of production is very familiar to us. That's a common name, labor. Labor is the mental or physical effort of human beings in the production process. Labor may be skilled or semi-skilled, unskilled or professional. Here in our example, the wooden table, we can see that the carpenter is the labor. Then, what is the reward of labor or factor income of the labor? salary or wage. The third one is capital. Capital or capital goods are the goods which is used to produce another goods and services 
they are the main main factor of production examples machineries tools factories etc to understand the meaning of capital goods in detail let's take another term that is consumer goods consumer goods are the goods that is used by the household for final consumption the households use the consumer goods to satisfy their own wants or their own satisfaction it is not for for the production but capital goods are the goods we are using to produce other goods and services let's check one example a printer if i use a printer to print my own documents at home that is a consumer good but if i use that printer in a company to use for the production process we can consider it as capital so to decide a product is consumer good or capital goods depends on who is the user and the purpose of its use the reward of capital is interest the fourth point is enterprise enterprise is the ability and willingness to bear uncertain risk in the production entrepreneurs are the people who organize all other factors of production they are the risk takers and their main two functions are decision making and risk bearing he decides what to produce how to produce and for whom to produce the reward of the entrepreneur is profit as we discussed the factors of production are the resources so this land labor capital and enterprise we can say in another term here land we can say natural resources labor and entrepreneur we can include in human resources capital is the man made resources dear students i hope you understand the basics of factors of production the next class is about the mobility of factors of production and changes in quantity and quality of factors of production please subscribe my youtube channel and click the bell icon so you will get the notification when i upload new videos thank you for watching lino economics net youtube channel